was the interpreter for speakers who come and speak in Chinese. So I told him, Kim, I'll interpret. Do you remember this? Yeah. So we Chinese. We were. I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> we were on the sixth floor, I think. And uh, and so he's. I don't know if some of you have heard Chen Shui Bian speak, <laughs> but he he has this very, very complicated legal uh, sentence structure and legal vocabulary, some of which he has made up himself. You know, he's <laughs> so he started to speak, and I found myself completely baffled when Beacon was sitting there and looked at her, and she translated that sentence, and I said, go on, and he gave another sentence. Couldn't figure it out, so she translated that. So I gave up, and she did the whole translation. But she. Um, she, she uh, worked throughout the Chun administration in the foreign affairs area, and she also worked for the next DPP candidate, Xie Changting, in his presidential campaign. Now she's working with the presidential campaign of Tsai Ing-wen as the international affairs director for that campaign. And of course, the uh, foreign policy of the DPP is an extremely important issue for the election for Taiwan, for the US. It's a very important area where she's so influential. As well, she's been put by the DPP on its at-large list, the Bu Fun Chu Dai Biao, and is, uh, has been assigned by the headquarters to campaign in Hualien. She was just telling me that Hualien, which is on the East Coast, um, is a place where the DPP doesn't have very strong base and only won 22% of the vote the last time around. So she has to go there and she has to raise the money to pay for her own transportation to go to Hualien and campaign and to attend endless weddings and funerals. That's how you campaign. So she's had to eat a great deal of food. And she's not hungry anymore. Tonight. And so it's a great pleasure to introduce Pete Kim, and I know you're going to enjoy her talk. You want to come up here? So can you...